you start looking over some of the greats at the position, John Mackey, uh, Ozzie Newsom, Mike Ditka, Kellen Winslow, I mean, you're talking about Hall of Fame guys, but I really think that, that Tony transformed the position. I think Tony's the best tight end ever. Put him in a normal tight end stance, he's gonna run block, he's gonna run his routes from that location. We put him on a single receiver side, move the other wide receivers to the other side of the field. That way we'd have a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a linebacker or a strong safety. His skill set was so different than any other tight end. Tony Gonzalez double pass for Michael Ricks up the right side. Caught by Ricks down to the five. When you look at how we utilized him as a weapon, there's a lot of tight ends in the game today that are doing those things that we first started with Tony. I'm going to score, and I'm trying to every time. I turn around and I see defenders coming. I'm going to do whatever it takes to at least let them know if you tackle me, it's going to be hard. If one person tackles you, you haven't really done your job. Just like if one person's guarding you and you can't get open, there's something wrong with you. Maybe you shouldn't be out there. I'm convinced. If I didn't have this big foot, I'd break a lot of tackles. I'd have broke that last one. He had my foot like this, just one guy. The thing you have to remember with Tony, he has that basketball background. When you throw to him, you could squeeze the ball into coverage with Tony because of how strong his hands were and because of his ability to box guys out. Kirkland was in perfect position, but not for a California basketball player to come over the back and make the catch. Tony is the guy that I would rely on those critical situations to throw the tough pass. What a quarterback friendly tight end. Why not look for number 88 every time? The visual that I get over and over again is him one-on-one -on -one or him in traffic and I put the ball up high, whether it be in the corner of the end zone or a matchup down the sideline or somewhere over the middle where the linebacker can't reach up and get it, and he was gonna get it. Lost a corner pad and he wants Gonzalez, who reaches up, touchdown! Great going, buddy. Just great. Yeah. yeah. You're the best, and you will always be the best. He's a dynamic receiver. Everybody knows that. There's no question of that. I think what everybody forgets is how his blocking transformed as he went along. You know, he was a part of that offensive line that helped Priest Holmes break the NFL single season rushing touchdown record. I think Tony definitely deserves to be in the top 100. You have to put him in there, not only from a statistical standpoint, because He'll virtually own every tight end record once once he retires, but just by the way he changed that position. That's the NFL That's the record. His 97th reception of the season. It's an all-time record for receptions for a single season for tight ends. It's not only a catch for Kansas City, it's a catch for Canton. His 63rd career touchdown catch, the most by any tight end in National Football League history. Gonzalez has the hat trick. Most touchdowns, most catches, most receiving yards by a tight end in NFL history. He's the best tight end ever to play in this league. Absolutely.